Well, today we're going to show you how we cleaned up the frame. Get all this scaly rust off of here and clean it up and get some primer on it. Some of the tools we'll be using a sander and sanding disc on the grinder here. Got a wire brush for the grinder if necessary. Scraper and a wire brush handheld. Got a stripper pad here and some sanding sponges to help with the contours of the bars. The main thing is our five way tool here. Scrape off the loose stuff. Get anything loose and out of the way first of all. Get all this loose tight stuff. Like this thing, it just pretty much just crumbles right off. So we'll get these bolts out of here. Get this all cleaned up and all the rust down in the grooves here. That's where the wire brush will come in handy. Sometimes it's helpful to use clamps. Clamp your work pieces down, that way they don't move as much when you use your scraping tool to remove the stuff that you don't want on there. Move as much. This loose type stuff off of here. Big loose stuff to get out of the way, the less it'll clog up. Mechanical cleaners like your sandpapers and your wire brushes and wire wheel and stuff like that. They're removing the bolts that are left from the headrest to get them out of the way for the rest of the cleanup. Use the other project like this, just scrape and scrape and scrape some more. Use the rounded part here to get on the, around the bars and in the little nooks and crannies and you got the point and the groove and then when you think you've scraped it all, you grab the wire brush, scrub it all down real good and you just come across the loose flaky stuff and hit it again with the scraper. Yes. Going around and around and around and cover every which side. Do it again and again and again and until you find no more loose or scaly stuff. stuff there. As soon as you can't find no more loose or scaly stuff, you go with your sandy pads and Get it all cleaned up and tighten it up a little bit. That way, any the loose rust gets removed, any little bits of loose paint that's still on there will fall off as well. We'll do this all the way around. We got, got it all smoothed out good and ready for primer. 
Now we could have went and sandblasted the whole cart, but that had been expensive and tedious. And just, I just didn't think it was necessary. Cleaning it up quite well and show, trying to show you how to get the job done and restore an old cart without costing a fortune. Here we're using the stripping pads as a cleaner. Get any all loose bits and pieces of paint and scrub off any rust to any kind of roughness. Mainly use the flexible stripping pad and the sanding sponges on the tubing and round and irregular parts. And these flat parts like this right here will use the power sander. Here we'll use the sander to clear off the smooth spots. It's smoother and everything. Note that we're not trying to clear it all down to bare metal like sandblasting. We're just cleaning it out so it'll take a good coat of primer. And now we've got it just about done. We're cleaning up the last little nooks and crannies. And that's why we use our whole array of tools. Sometimes you need a scraper, sometimes you need a wire brush, sometimes the smoothing pad. Sometimes you gotta get in the power tools. Like I said, we're not cleaning it down to bare metal. Just trying to show how to clean up a cart and put it back to use without costing a fortune. It's just about ready for primer. And we're gonna blow it off and then wipe it down. Now we'll use our paint thinner. We'll give it a good wipe down. It's an old rag, old t-shirt. Saturate our rag. Put the lid back on our paint thinner here. Now we'll wipe everything down and get that layer of dust and rust off. And we'll wipe it down again with a fresh rag and some fresh paint thinner. Make sure we got every nook and cranny and get everything we missed. I had missed the first time.
I'll let it dry good. And we'll get it primed up. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, that's how dirty our first rag come out. And our second rag, a lot cleaner, but it's still got a lot more dust and debris off. I'll let her dry up and we'll get some primer on it. Now that we've got our roll bar all cleaned up, air it off or blow it off, and wipe down with the paint thinner, and dry it off. We're going to get some primer on it. Now that it's dried for a few minutes, we'll get it turned around with the other side primed. Now that that's dry, we'll flip it over. I always try to prime in, paint the bottom side of stuff first. Stuff you don't see and then flip it over and paint the part you're going to see. That way, what you're actually going to visually see all the time is the last thing you lay out and make it look nice. Here we got it flipped over, get the last little bit primed. This is pretty much how we did the whole rest of the cart. I just want to get all that done first and kind of be ahead of the game when we started this. I figured I'd do this section to show you as an example of the procedure we did to clean up the cart. Cleans it up pretty nice and seals everything up. Got all the loose scaly stuff off. And then we'll put it together and do a couple test runs and stuff along those lines before we actually get paint on it. Well, this is what our roll bar looks like all cleaned up and in primer. And it come out pretty good. All cleaned up. And Sealed up and we'll do the job. Get it nice and cleaned up from behind. So the people you pass will get a nice visual, you know. And like I said, that's the roll bar to go on our little dingo here. And like I said, I've already cleaned up the frame because it was pretty much in the same condition. Next video we do, we will replace the bearings on the rear end.